Hi, I'm Vicky from Crafting Claire's Paper Moments and today I'm going to show you how to make my simple belly band box. Here's what you'll need to make the box. A simply scored tool, a happy day stamp set, deco labels framelits, a pistachio pudding ink pad, in colour markers, basic pearls to decorate and one of the little flower punches from the Itty Bitty Punch Pack. You'll also need smoky slate cardstock in both smooth and coordinations for a little bit of contrast and just a couple of scraps of cardstock, strawberry slush and coastal cabana. To make the box you'll first need to use your Simply Score tool to score. I've placed my useful markers exactly where I need to score and that's a two inches. 5 inches, 7 inches and 10 inches and then we want to score 2 inches in from each side so that's in from the left, turn it round and then 2 inches in from the left again. Once you've scored your cardstock you're going to need to fold the creases and make them nice and crisp. Now a bone folder is the best way of doing this. Here's my nicely folded cardstock. We're going to take a pair of paper snips and where you've got a little edge, we're going to cut these little corners away completely. And the same with the other one. Once you've cut these corners away, you're going to use your paper snips to cut down your score lines and also up from the bottom. I'll start that. Now you have something that will fold into a box. I'm going to fasten that with sticky strips so that it won't spring apart. Here you can see that I've put the sticky strip along that little narrow tab and I'm going to peel that off. And then you've got your box all ready. Now I need to stamp the label and for that you'll need the Happy Day stamp set and your white cardstock. Now I'm going to use the Sweet Sweet Moments sentiment because I'm going to put chocolates in my box. I'm going to take the Coastal Cabana marker and just colour in the Sweet Sweet. And then take the strawberry slush marker and colour in the moments. This is such a great sentiment for using for sweet treats. There. Now whenever you're using two or more colours, just give that stamp a quick huff before stamping. Now the best thing for me to do is to use a stamp -a jig to stamp my swirl. If you're using cling mount stamps you possibly won't need to do that. But I'm going to position my swirl just above my sentiment there. I'm using this lovely pistachio pudding ink which I just love. These gorgeous pastel colours this spring are just amazing. There, let's position that swirl again at the other side and there we go, that's the label. Now I'm going to take my label framelit 
and position that over my stamping and run that through the big shot. If you've not tried the magnetic board yet, you really have to try it because it makes using framelits so easy. The magnetic pull of the board just makes the framelit just stick straight on, so of course you don't have to worry about it moving as you roll it through your big shot. Here's the label which we want to put on our box, but first we want to make a belly band out of the coordinations cardstock. The first thing to do is to place your strip lengthwise on the Simply Scored and just score down the length of each side. This gives a really nice professional looking finish to your belly band. And then I'm going to place it lengthwise on there and score along some very strange measurements but trust me I've done all the hard work for you <laughs> this will fit your box so you fit it onto the belly band and pull the small edges up and can you see it doesn't meet in the middle that's because obviously the 12 by 12 coordinations cardstock just isn't long enough but it doesn't matter because what we're going to do is put our label over that. Now I've attached glue dots to the back of this label. So let's just do one side at a time. I need to know roughly where it's going to fit. So let's put one side on first and then make sure the other side is nice and tight before adding that bit too. And there we are. That's your box with the belly band. You can decorate these boxes as you choose, but I like to punch out some little flowers using the Itty Bitty Flower Punch from the Itty Bitty Punch uh, pack and just pop a little pearl in the middle of those. You can just attach them with glue dots or a little dot of Tombow and they just look rather sweet on there. And there we go, my basic box with a belly band. I hope you've enjoyed today's project. I've made a card that matches the box that I made today and you can see that as well as loads of other original projects on my blog. I wanted to show you this card because it features on the front a little pocket with a little gift card inside. Now obviously you can use your own gift card but this one is mine. So if you'd like to buy a Stamping Up shopping spree with me for one of your friends or family then just leave a message here or contact me from using my blog. If you'd like to buy Stamping Up products directly from me my online shop is open 24 hours a day. Thank you for watching. <laughs>